Hey guys, Matty Extreme Auto Caravan and Camping. On a Zone 2018 Zone today, doing a big upgrade. Um, he's gonna put 400 amp hours of lithium in this. Now this has the uh, Enerdrive system, which I'll show you down there. And he's got the thin film solar panels on top on the old core fluid. Now this was done back in sort of 2017, 2018. So um, opted for a couple of extra panels and they've stuck the panels kind of in shade. And I'll, I'll show you guys in a second with that. So they've put, this came with um, 400 watts of solar, but wanted a bit more solar, so they put more on. But when they put it on, they put it right up against the air conditioner, so it's actually shading uh, the corner of the panel. As well as the other one they put horizontal is um, right up against the air conditioner. So what we're gonna do is, those existing panels are in parallel, and they're all going through the Enerdrive um, DC to DC charger. Now, we're gonna rewire it. We're gonna put more panels on the roof. We're gonna get this thing about 1,000 watts. So the way we do it is we're going to run the two solar controllers here from Victron. We're going to put the existing five panels. Um, I'm going to restring it and rewire it and probably put it through um, another solar controller here. I'm going to go for another five panels on the roof as well. So we're going to get another 500 watts of our panels and lightweight, um, you know, mono perk cells, which will give great power. So in another 500 watts, I'm gonna run it through another solar controller here, and we should get some good power out of this. The other thing I'm gonna do is, and this is the thing, back in the day when lithium was, I have to say, in its infancy, but sort of coming onto the market and getting built as vans, it was an option. So uh, caravan manufacturers would you know, opt to put lithium in, but the monitoring systems they had, I have to say back then, even though it was only five years ago, was very limited. Now this came with a C-Tech Drifter, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. That's the SeaTech Drifter, all right? Now, this has got an Enerdrive 2000 inverter, right? So I've seen the inverter, I've seen the SeaTech Drifter, and I've said to myself, there's no way they've wired this inverter through the SeaTech Drifter shunt. And that's because the SeaTech Drifter shunt is this little thing here. Now, let's try and show it to you a bit better. See that shunt? That's a 100 amp shunt. So what does that mean? I've got a 2000 watt inverter in here, guys, with a SeaTech Drifter battery display, unable to monitor the inverter. So what's the point of the display? I'll tell you what the point of the display is. It's going to be inaccurate, obviously, because if you're taking power from around, of its, around its back, which this one's doing, so there's the, um, there's the inverter's negative, and that negative goes to the shunt, all right? So you're taking power directly from the batteries around the back side of the shunt, so the battery monitoring is never going to be accurate. Well, that's point one. Point two, the SeaTech Drifter can't monitor lithium. It doesn't have the programmability. It doesn't have the parameters to be able to be tweaked. Um, you know, your Puket exponent needs to be changed. The way a lithium discharges is completely different to an AGM. The charge efficiency is completely different. Basically, you know where this is going to go, and it's one of these, all right? <laughs> So I'm going to put the Victron BMV 712 in this, so I'll make a monitor everything. And I'm going to put it right up here next to the um, Enerdrive inverter remote. When he turns his inverter on, when he runs his air conditioner, when he runs a, an induction cooker, anything. 12 volt, it's all going to be monitored. And here's the issue. All right. Shade. Yeah. So you're not going to get, obviously, the sun's... This way, you know, we're shading this whole cell here. It's not going to get much out of it. As we move forward, same issue here. So the sun, you know, is going to have to be on this angle, coming in just to give panel power. The rest of them are all right, but we're going to, we're going to go Sat King Pro Max, and we're going to put another 100, 200, can't see the front edge, three, four, 500 watts up the front there, running on a separate Victron charge controller. Give this thing some power off grid, see what we can get out of it.